Hello, welcome back. I'm Stephanie with the Gilston, and I am here today to talk about prostate massagers and 10 men's different stories on what they felt using the prostate massagers. Now, everyone knows that I talk about that in between the hips, nothing's moving there between the hips for men and women. If you think about it, sex doesn't give enough movement down there to all of the necessary um, organs. So the penis going into the vagina, the penis and the vagina having orgasms, all of that is not enough to be able to bring enough blood flow to all the organs in between the hips, period. It's not. And exercise doesn't do that. Running around doesn't do that. Jumping jacks doesn't do that. If you think about it, I mean, all the scientific proof shows that you need vibration therapy. You need stuff between your hips. Okay. Check out my Reddit. I have all the information there. So everyone knows that I love the vibration plate. So um, vibration therapy standing on a whole vibration uh, plate, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, two hours before bed is what I recommend, um, provided that you don't have any structural damage and that brings blood flow to the majority of all of your muscles and nerves in your body in which you need all of that. Well, you can read all the research that I've done on that. We need that on a daily basis. Okay. So, or, so I do it daily. You do it however much you want, but I have noticed significant changes in my body, in my life, in my overall health, um, how I feel, everything. It's been a life changer for me, game changer. My mother, who has um, been doing it since the end of August, it's a game changer for her. She's doing amazing um, from sedentary and very much not wanting to move. So. Vibration therapy is huge. So check out my whole stuff on that. And so then I also then promote prostate therapy, massaging therapy, as well as a vagina, a vibrator in the vagina as well, because you need vibration between the hips. It's just, you have to. It, and setting off those types of orgasms that normally do not otherwise are let off when you're just having normal sex for the prostate. That's not one that just normally, you know, gets released. And you that has to be done with a massage or a massager, like a, a you know, a vibrator. Or you can get, um, and for the vagina, I mean, having sex doesn't always, you can't always get a G-spot orgasm and let off those other types of holes that need to be unplugged. This is how I talk. So, like it or not, that's how I talk. And um, that's how I call it. You just need to, everything needs to be cleared out, okay? Let me tell you about the 10 stories. With that being said, so if you want to look at all the other podcasts, I talk about vi whole vibration therapy, vibra vibrator, vib in the vagina therapy, everything. So, but today's the focus is the nine guys so that other men can hear these stories and then make a decision on their own. Okay. This was from a men's health article that was done. 10 men reveal what it's like to get off with the prostate massager. Now, if you check out uh, my Reddit, it's, I have posted it there, the full article. Okay. Here is one man's story. Some, sometimes the toy could make orgasm more intense as my muscle tense around it. Sometimes it's diminished, it diminished it. Sometimes it was better to pop it out again, just at the point of orgasm. It was definitely fun. And I use one again. And this guy was 48 years old. I would assume that it's going to be guys that are a little bit older that try this stuff. But to me, 
we need we need you young guys doing this too. I think that um, you not doing it and waiting until later in life is a problem. And that's why you have ED issues when you're younger. Just saying. Um, there is no scientific proof, but just stop and think about it. So tell me what you're doing to get those um, areas unplugged. Are you going to, um, there are massage parlors that will do prostate massages. I have called around and checked and in probably all the big metropolitan cities. And, um, but other than that, if your doctor doesn't do it, um, who's doing it? Just saying. Okay. I just like the silent pause. Okay. So here's another guy. My partner would use it on me while masturbating me, or I would masturbate myself. As I was about to come, she would insert it as deep as it would go, and the orgasms were incredibly intense. I love a prostate massager, and I still use it frequently. Jim, and he's 50. Okay, here's another guy. When I got my first prostate massager, I didn't think it would be as good as fingers or a strap-on dildo. I thought it would just be an enhancement to jerking off or receiving oral. Massager was a stubby, rubber-covered vibe with a slight bend and a remote control connected by a cord. The first time was awkward and took experimentation to find a good angle and grip. To help it get fur in further, I was laying on my back with a pillow underneath my bottom. At first, I was was using the massager and stroking my penis, but after a couple of minutes at a higher speed pressing against my prostate, I let go of my dick and focused on the massager. It felt good and the sensation was focused at first, but when I started massaging my prostate in a circular pattern like my wife's fingers did, I felt warm tingles spread over my crotch and a tingling buzz, tickling buzz inside my shaft. I felt myself starting to shake like before. I pumped my hips in a bit and the vibration felt like it was creeping up my body. I was feeling even, I was even feeling it in my nipples and the back of my throat. Wow. I remember losing myself for a moment or two and just feeling everything. At that point, the rhythm and vibration was intense and it was like my whole body was contracting. That was enough to push me to the edge. Wow, that's a good description. I hope that was captivating for some of you. It was for me. Wow, and that guy is 44 and his, yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, I have, and you can see, you know, he's all descriptive. That's great because he gets to explain it to the guys and all these other short little ones. I have tried it several times. While it was always pleasurable, I have yet to reach a P orgasm. I use the Hugo. John. Okay. 52. Hmm. Well, I guess that's the toy he uses. Okay. Well, all I can tell you is get some more lubrication, be in a more relaxed environment, make sure no one's in the house. You are supposed to masturbate with your hand. And if you play with your penis a little bit, I'm sure that will help. Pretty much you probably start with that is my assumption. And then eventually you, as you get more and more aroused, then you could start moving that. Maybe your partner could actually start doing that and just slide slowly going in. Um, I always suggest oral gel if you need to uh, put on the outside of the anus to um, numb it. So you could always do that. Um, but yeah, I think you're doing something wrong. Hey, go to a, um, uh, find a massage parlor next to you, close to you. Ask them for a prostate massage. How can that be illegal? Okay. I was given the whatever it was to review and I never used a prostate massager before. I was in my late thirties when I first tried. I enjoyed it and I continue to enjoy P-Spot. They call it the P-spot massage, 
months into my early 40s. Prostate massaging is not a regular activity I do for solo or partner play. I like it in conjunction with penis stimulation. Phil, 41. I think, Phil, honestly, most men like it with the penis stimulation. I think that's kind of like a, it's like a, most of them do, the, the people I've talked to. Here's another guy. I guess for me, the main thing is that I would never had one of those whole body prostate orgasms that you hear so much about. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or it's just the way my body works. It definitely makes regular orgasms more intense though. And I like the sensation of being full. Also, it's fun to use with the partner because it's a little power play. And this person is 24. Nice. Here's another one. My one and only time with one was when my ex and I decided to get experimental. It was quite pleasurable after I got over the anxiety brought on by trying something new and my comfort level increased. She also had fun using it on me and the orgasm I achieved was one of the more intense that I've ever experienced. James 38, 100%. Everyone who tells me that, the majority of them are amazing. Okay, here's another guy. After having my my butt fingered for a while, a girlfriend used a G-spot vibrator on my prostate while giving me a blowjob. When I came, I went temporarily deaf with ecstasy. Needless to say, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Bradley, he's 40. That's pretty much what I hear. Okay, Bradley, I love that. Okay, here's the last. Here's two more. My first experience was as an 18-year-old, young, horny, gay male. I went to the local adult store when I turned 18, and this shopkeeper directed my naive self to the prostate massagers. I ended up purchasing the simplest, a hard, black, plastic one. I went home to experiment with, with this and blocked my door and put the lube all over the massager and lay down and slowly inserted it with a little pain at first. I wiggled it around until I finally found the prostate. And boy, was I surprised. It felt amazing and was instantly hard. I began to masturbate, making it feel even better. I came the hardest that I ever had and much more pleasurable than I ever had. Overall, this experience led me on a journey to exploring my sexuality as a bottom. Greg, 20. Very good. Thank you, Greg. I love that. I think that was perfect because I think you explaining that you went um, to your prostate first to find it is really helpful because I think that there's this mindset of going down and just starting to play down there, you know, with your penis all at the same time when not really realizing, which that I'm sure that sensation is unforgettably noticeable, but I think this is really cool how you explain that. So, all right. And then the last one, the first time was one of the five best orgasms I've had in my life. It was a lot of fun and I've done it again a few times. Mike 41. Thank you, Mike, for the very simple. I love the simple ones versus the very extensive ones. All right. Well, that's it for the 10 men that rebuild what they liked about a prostate massager. I hope that helps. Why you're going to go get a prostate massager. Okay, go check the link in my bio. Um, Good Vibrations is the place that I purchase all of my products from. I've been using them since I was 18 years old. I love working with them. So go check that out. I've got a coupon in there. Go buy a prostate massager today. Have fun. Report back and let me know.